This is a story of ex-Baton Rouge gangster Michael Marlowe Mike Louding, better known for being Lord Boosie's hitman. Mike was a young wild demon in Baton Rouge. He was known for busting this gun, and if you needed somebody to be taken care of, he was the one to call. The best way to describe him, he was a certified stepper. He was born in 1995, and police say by the age of 15, he had nine bodies. His nickname, Marlo Mike, came from the character Marlo Stansfield from The Wire. He was often suspended from school, so his mom put him into a military-style school just to get his act together. Once he got out that school, he went back to a regular school. Then he was kicked out of school when he got caught carrying a gun on school grounds. He once told his mom he hear voices, but denied getting any help because he didn't want to get locked up in a psych ward. By the age of 14, he moved in with rapper Lil Boosie. Around this time, he went on a 14-month murdering spree. On October 21st, 2009, Mike knocked off a man named Terry Boyd when he shot six times through his window, killing him. Later on that night after the hit, a man named Adrian Pittman testified he picked up Mike and took him to Lil Boosie's house where Lil Boosie paid him $2,800 for the hit. Terry Boyd was Lil Boosie's baby mama's brother. On February 9th, 2009, it is claimed Mike also murdered Chris Nussie Jackson. Nussie was a known gangster in Baton Rouge, and just like Terry Boyd, he had an ongoing beef with Lil Boosie. Mike said he shot Nussie through a window while standing on his friend Ghost's back. Ghost was one of Mike's friends who was with him on multiple murders, but he got killed at the beginning of 2010. Mike was also responsible for killing a man named Michael Gangster Thomas for snatching Lil Boosie's chain. After a couple murders, Mike would take a picture with the words, Yo, Boosie, who's next? on his stomach. On May 14, 2010, Mike was arrested on a warrant he had for aggravated assault and terrorizing. He was questioned for a string of homicides that happened between 2009 to 2010. The police said he was a common denominator in five shootings that left six people dead. On April 25, 2009, he was linked to the murder of Marcus Thomas. On April 1, 2010, two men named Noki and Bleak was killed. Before the murders of Noki and Bleak, Mike would shoot up that same house two times. The first time, Noki's girlfriend was hit in the back but survived. The second shooting happened about 11 days later, but nobody was hurt. He also killed a man named Michael Smith in December of 2009. Since he was young at the time, he wasn't eligible for the death penalty. Mike was sentenced to natural life in state prison 